you could see yourself in my eyes You'd see you shine, you shine I know you'd never leave me behind I am lost this time Are we destined to burn or will we last the night? I will hold you till I hold you right If only you could see yourself in my eyes Hey everybody, welcome back to my favorite part of the day, morning coffee. I was put it out there on Instagram, I'm thinking about doing some morning coffee meetups in my travel, so uh, let me know if I'm in your town and I wanted to host a meetup, maybe talk about life, get some craft coffee going, um, or I don't know, be basic, go to Starbucks, we figure it out. I just want to connect with the listeners a little bit more, I, I really enjoy all of y'all's feedback, and so if that's something you're interested in, I don't know, let me know, especially if you see that I'm around your hometown. Also, for you avid listeners, I'm sure that you just realized that that was new intro music by Brittany Taylor. She is at Barbell Brittany on Instagram, and if I could tell you guys to do anything, it would be to go to her Instagram and continue to pester her to drop new music on Morning Coffee, because I love it and because I want more, and that's very selfish, but that's okay. That's kind of what we're going to talk about today. So my question for you today is, are you living or are you just not dying? And it might be easy to see something like this as a meme or hear it in passing and just discount it as a motivational phrase. But I mean really as a point of introspection, like how are you living your life? How are you authoring all of your situations? How are you approaching all of the facets of your life that you actually care about? Your relationships, your business, your career, all of it. Are you playing for keeps? Because playing offense and playing defense are very different strategies. You don't get rich by trying not to go broke. You don't find a successful relationship by trying not to get hurt. Trust me, tried both. You know, and it might go without saying, but trying not to go backwards is an awful strategy for trying to move forward in life. So I really think we need to step back and evaluate our situation sometimes and ask ourselves, Where has our need to simply survive interfered with us putting the energy and the passion that we should into our life? Okay, so I'll be honest, like probably a lot of people, they don't understand specifically why I chose a lion for the symbol of this channel, why I called it Lionheart Radio. Because people have all these conflated views of a lion, like it just gets what it wants, whenever it wants. But that's actually not the case at all. A lion will hunt for weeks with nothing. It'll operate with no food and it will suffer for what it wants. But at no point amidst that suffering does it stop playing offense. Look, that spirit is something we should all strive to. We aren't chameleons that simply blend in so that we don't die. If there's something you want to do in this world or someone that you want to be, you can't expect to get it by playing the chameleon. And listen, this has been such a hard lesson for me to learn. You know, sometimes we shrink back from who we are and what we want because we're afraid it won't be accepted. But other times we do it because we're taught never to prioritize ourselves and what we want, and we're taught that from a super early age. And fair enough, you know, like we don't we don't want to be selfish. But I'm here to tell you that you don't need anyone's permission to be a force in the world. And you can impose your will on your life while still adding value to others. This life isn't a zero-sum game where to win you have to take from somebody else. You can play offense simply because you know what you want for your life. And you can do it while being an incredible force for good in the world. Like Be a light in this world. You know, one of the things I love about the idea of light as an archetype, just being a light, is that it doesn't expect anything. It's, it's just useful. But that doesn't mean you have to be a candle. Be a fucking spotlight and do something with yourself. And that is a little more fire and brimstone and a little shorter than I normally do, but I really think we need to step back and just ask ourselves, like, how, what is the energy and what, what are we... What kind of life are we authoring for ourselves? Because if we don't set our intentions and we don't make plays and we don't call the shots, the world's going to do it for us and we're going to end up a victim to all of those different circumstances. And so maybe there's points in your life where you can think today, like, where am I not? Where am I not playing offense? Where has this like sort of idea for survival crept into my maybe my subconscious or just my action so that I'm not I'm not showing up and doing the things that I would need to do in order to get where I want to get. doesn't matter if it's your business or your relationship or, you know, any of these things that I kind of mentioned today. Be a fucking spotlight.
you have complete permission to get what you want in this life. It doesn't have to come at the cost of others. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on Morning Coffee. All right. Yeah. Yeah.